Hello and welcome back to Alice Goes Sailing. In today's episode, I'm going to be continuing my solo adventure by sailing Marikai over to the Isle of Wight. But before we get into the sailing action, I'm going to go swimming with the fishies. The sun has risen, as you can see. People are sailing about. It's my time to kick out, see if I can catch a bit of current going up the up the Solent. And the wind seems pretty good today as well. So, full sails up. Right, we've got our main up. We put that up and then lifted the anchor, and it's anchorage back there. And um, we're going to get up to this mark because uh, the wind's coming pretty much that direction there. So we get high up there to the boats, and then uh, we'll make a tack. Right, it's time to make that tack. than yesterday because that was flopping around way too much right we could only pinch it just outside the harbour as uh, that was the only bearing we had but we're pretty much right up into the wind now so we're gonna round this mark maybe up to just before looking at all the other boats looks like they'll be able to point quite high up to the Isle of Wight and I put the kicker on today I remembered that because I didn't have it on yesterday so that should help us a little bit because we will be pointing up wind quite a bit today. I feel sorry if this outboard sometimes. We currently have 13 true wind. It's quite interesting to see what the wind actually matches up to on the forecast that I'm using. Find out which one's more accurate for certain things and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, and it's pretty cool to see uh, what degrees certain sails can do and things. So I'm going to get a spinnaker at some point. Just can't just live with a Janur and Maine because that's no fun. We'll wait for this boat to cross and then we'll cross behind it. Right, let's uh, turn up. Turn up now. Let's go on the other side of the boat. Oops, out of the rope. Right. Oh yeah, we're perfect. Let's uh, slide this track up. Touch. It's killed me out. What? They're looking pretty good. So, untwist both of them. Put them up to here. Lick the tab back. up and out. It's just water and me nettering, yeah. So that's Benbridge over there. That's where I used to go with Masumi, my old boat, quite a lot. We never really ventured 
far up that way. Um, one, because it's a small, slow boat. And uh, two, we were fairly newish to the whole sailing gig. Well, on that boat anyway. And that boat did not like any kind of waves. So in this kind of sea state, she'd be fine, but it wouldn't be the most comfortable. And this, this sea state is for this. So when I did that comparison on one of my videos, um, yeah. Well, I did mention about the sea state and then we looked on the sailboatdata.com and we could see the differences in how they would be. And uh, it is true, she sails really well in the, in the waves. And these sails are brilliant. Oh, it's almost getting up to six knots here. So we're doing just over six through the water and uh, maybe five over ground. Right, the wind's uh, gusting a little bit up and down, but that boat was in front of me off to my starboard side, maybe, I don't know, whatever o'clock, but he was up there. And uh, those other two boats might be catching, I don't know, but I think we'll put it away. Right, we are heading up into the Solent and still doing about four or five knots. That boat's all the way back there now. This one's catching on me a bit think because they're not getting as much current helping them down there so uh we're coming up on this blue head sailed boat and these two over here so uh see if we can beat them too big boats going past us up there so yeah pretty bliss day going on here could do with maybe a couple dots more of wind but yeah i'm quite happy i've got my uh panel chocolate now and uh, that'll fill me up. That's my breakfast. And uh, see what we do. Right. We are just coming past Portsmouth. You can see the Finnick Tower thing. Just coming between this barricade, underwater barricade, which, well, I could probably sail over it, but we'll go through the safety channel thing. So, uh, yeah, well, on that, bliss weather. Look at this. Full sails up, cruising along. Doing about four and a half knots there we're kind of getting well here just off coastal navy so we'll see how high we can point once we get through here to we'll see if we can make it up past cows if not we'll have to throw attack in just whipping around one of the forts just in Portsmouth now you can see another little fort thing over there as well there's a spinning tower a close sword. I'm gonna try and pinch the headland over there. Uh, if we can't, then we'll just do a quick attack and then tack up across. But hopefully, we can make it. It's looking like we might be able to just. I'm just looking at my little drop. I've got a little waypoint marked. And uh, hopefully, we can. The tide is literally while well, the current's about to switch on me, so it'll be a little bit harder getting up to the top of the Solent. So, we'll see where we get to. And pick our anchorage. Look at that. Hopefully, he can give me some wind. Go on, give me some wind. Go on, point it at me. God, that thing's loud. As you can see, the wind was dropping, so I decided to make a tack, head over to the anchorage at Osborne Bay, which is at the top of the Isle of Wight, and anchor for the night. By the time I got there, the wind had dropped completely and I decided to send the drone up to have some fun. <laughs> 